What is happening, everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I don't even know what we're listening to today. <laughs> I didn't. I didn't uh, uh, get my stuff up. What am I going to listen to today? Let's uh, let's go ahead and listen to a little Peter Gabriel. Hey, that's always a good time. Let's lead, listen to a little Peter Gabriel. We're going to listen to the song "Blood of Eden." This is the third track off of the album "Us," which was released in 1992. Uh, for the longest time, this is a track that's been recommended, and I've always had it in my mind. I've actually had it on a list for all that time, and I never got to it. So today, we're going to go ahead and get to it. I know that we're in the midst of listening to So, uh, but I'm going to do a track that you guys have been recommending for a while. So let's go ahead and do that. This is Blood of Eden, Peter Gabriel. Do I even have my volume ready? Hold on, hold on. I think it's good. All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, 
for a moment of forgetting a moment of bliss feels like getting into a warm bath letting the water just kind of cover you over it feels good peter's delivery is very 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 tender here and filled with a lot of pain a lot of emotion he pushes it through very well of course you also have Sinead o'connor here who's fulfilling a lot of the harmonic roles and i think that she does a great job as well i mean she's she always sounds good but i, I like what she brings in the harmonies the song is very light, but at the same time, it has a lot of depth, especially in the uh, atmosphere of it all. Gotta love the percussion as well. I think that overall, this is a nice mood piece. I'll admit that it's not one that I um, I really enjoy. I, I find the song, if I could sum it up in really one word, inoffensive. It's To me, it's not like a strong track. It's not like a weak one either. It, it's just kind of, it, it just kind of exists. I'm like, okay, it's, it's okay. And I feel like I've heard... Peter do this kind of sound before, you know, from what we've listened to recently on So. So I don't really hear any, like, progression or, like, anything, you know, like, kind of new. <laughs> and when I'm listening to Peter Gabriel, sometimes I'm I'm kind of, like, waiting for a curveball. I'm kind of waiting for something to kind of come out of nowhere, and it's like, wow. You know? Personally, my favorite Peter Gabriel al album, uh, excuse me, is Melt, Peter Gabriel 3. I think that that song has some of the coldest and darkest moments that I've heard from him, but they're also some of the most interesting and keep me coming back for more. Um, this is okay. This is okay. But I do think that I'm going to find a lot of uh, meaning in the lyrics because they do seem to be pretty well written and wonderfully sung by both of them. I caught sight of my reflection. I caught it in the window. I saw the darkness in my heart. I saw the signs of my undoing. So he's reflecting on himself. He says that he was looking at a window. He was looking out somewhere and he caught a reflection of himself. Perhaps he didn't recognize the person that he saw in the uh, reflection. And the darkness still has work to do. The knotted cords untying. The heated and the holy. Oh, they're sitting there on high, so secure with everything they're buying. And then the chorus. In the blood of Eden lie the woman and the man with the man in the woman and the woman in the man. In the blood of Eden lie the woman and the man. We wanted the union, oh, the union of the woman, the woman and the man. So what is he referencing in the blood of Eden? Like, obviously, Garden of Eden, you know, 
they they ate whatever fruit they ate. My my mic is low. They ate whatever fruit they ate, and then they were kicked out of Eden. And because of that, everyone is imperfect. Everyone dies, right? So perhaps he's talking about how everyone is sinful. The blood is on Adam and Eve's hands from Eden because they wanted the union, the union of the woman and the man. Because if I remember correctly, Eve had brought whatever fruit it was to Adam and perhaps they loved each other so much they decided to kind of fall together because they wanted the union. They wanted to be with each other basically. I don't know, <laughs> but I feel like there's something like that there. My grip is surely slipping. I think I've lost my hold. Yes, I think I've lost my hold. I cannot get insurance anymore. They don't take credit, only gold. Is that a dagger or a crucifix I see? You hold so tightly in your hand. And all the while the distance grows between you and me, I do not understand. I like that line. I, and I like this stanza right here. They won't take insurance or they don't take credit anymore, only gold. You can't give them a promise or they don't trust you. They only want whatever, whatever they can have immediately. And then the question, is that a dagger or a crucifix I see in your hand? Are you coming to me with peace or are you coming to me with violence and a threat? And then he talks about the distance growing between them. And then once again, talking about the uh, blood of Eden. At my request, you take me in. In that tenderness, I'm floating away. No certainty, nothing to rely on. Holding still for a moment, what a moment this is. So he feels comfort for just a moment because this person took him in. Is he referencing God? I can hear the distant thunder of a million unheard souls. Watch each one reach for creature comfort for the filling of their holes. I feel like, um, in a way, this track is describing the pain that humanity feels and a sort of salvation or comfort that you can find out of that pain. I don't know if he's necessarily directing it to God or spirituality or religion, but he's directing it somewhere. <laughs> but I'm not quite sure where. But that's kind of what I'm getting out of it. I don't know. Let me know what you guys thought of it. You can let me know in the comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on the track, on the lyrics. Let me know uh, what did you think of this. Did you feel like me and feel a little ambivalent towards it? Or were you like, no, this is a, a banger and an awesome track. What are you talking about? <laughs> it's okay either way. I'd love to read your comments. Thank you so much for being here. Hope you have a wonderful day. And I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Bye.